Hi, this is Dr. Payne recording from Tucson, Arizona. Today we have a question from one of our YouTube subscribers. Let's do a quick analysis and see how we go about solving this one. To send your own questions, please consider subscribing our channel. All right, so analysis goes something like this. Of the tr six trig functions, two are really what's vital, sine and cosine. The rest of the four is... Uh, extension of those two. Sine is defined by opposite over hypotenuse or y value over the r value. So here's the y value over the r value over here for our problem. And cosine is defined by x over r. So x value is over here and r is over here. Now the secant is 1 over sine. So the trick to remember is if it starts with a c, then it's s over here. If it starts s uh, with an s, which is for secant, then it's 1 over cosine. Tangent is just sine over cosine and cotangent is 1 over tangent. So with this graph in hand, let's write this whole thing up. All right, so here's the solution. Here's the point that's given, minus 3 minus square root of 2, a little over um, 1. So it's minus 1.414 for square root of 2. It's in the third quadrant. The angle goes counterclockwise. Here's the theta. To find the r, we can use Pythagorean theorem. It's relatively easy. Now, sine and cosine are the two important ones. y over r is sine. x over r is cosine. Substituting the corresponding values, we have the answer over here. Tangent is sine over cosine, cotangent is 1 over tangent. Secant 1 over sine is theta and uh, secant is over here. Cosecant is 1 over sine and secant is 1 over cosine. Now in doing those things at the beginners, especially beginning level, it's really important just to remember the sine and cosine and then let's let tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant fall from the two definitions that you do have. Well, I hope this helps. Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Please comment, share, or like this video. Together we can make math easy again. Have a confident day.